and rising family welcome to your monday the 15th monday the 15th true, true love journey daily message family i already uh prayed so we can actually just get started i hope everyone had a wonderful ooh, split the deck look at look at look at look at look at <laughs> hopefully ooh, <laughs> past life relationship hopefully everyone um had a wonderful weekend I know I did. I spent some time with my friends, and uh, and it's still going. I'm I'm recording this on Sunday. I have a friend of mine. Uh, you guys know her. Star Goddess Healing. She has a channel on YouTube. She's on her way over. And we're gonna spend the afternoon at the pool. Uh, the weather is finally beautiful that we can do that. So hopefully you guys are enjoying yourselves, making time for play, and spending time out in the sun. All right. So uh, I'm going to do it, some, some things a little different. Um, I did this spread. I really enjoyed it. So here we are. I want to thank it. Like I, like I always say, I want to thank everyone for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, for donating to the channel, for sending decks, for scheduling readings with me, family. Uh, I love you all. Thank you so much. Uh, without you guys, you know, we wouldn't be here. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Remember to take only what resonates and leave the rest for others. And uh, the energy has been beautiful. The last reading was incredible. We saw the, the Wheel of Fortune twice, the Queen of Wands twice. You guys are working with the, the universe, aligning with the universe, capitalizing on these transits to for what it's doing and um, letting go, letting go, letting go. Letting go came out again yesterday. I posted it on Instagram. So um, that's the energy. So again, family, take only what's yours and leave the rest for other. Look, this is exactly what I just said is happening. Being in this energy of enjoying your life, enjoying the moment fully, being in the present moment. <clears throat> and that's how you attract in romantic love, right? By detaching, letting go, um, not seeking anything outside of you to feel happy, content and fulfilled. You enjoy, I'm sorry, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. That's the energy family that we've been in. Okay, you guys have been really capitalizing on this eclipse season, eclipse energy portals to release, release, purge, 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 to make room for your new beginning. And, uh, and it shows in the energy. Energy doesn't lie. Um, I've been getting a lot of what clarified uh, that card actually came out yesterday. What clarified it was the nine of pentacles, the nine of cups, just feeling very uh, independent physically and independent emotionally as well. That's exactly how you uh, attract in. I think it was the ace of cups was there as well for true love. I'm not true love. I got true love in the brain for ace for, ah, spirit. <laughs> for self-love for self-love yes <laughs> all right what's the message here spirit for the collective express your love i'm gonna put true love here express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture what else for the collective we have trust the situation is calling for you to have a lot of faith here right Somebody's getting ready to express their love and make a gesture towards you here both of you guys are calling each other in your uh, prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help to bring you together. What else we have here, Spirit? For the collective, this could be the one. You already met the romantic partner you seek. I would say so. I would say so. It's your true love, right? So needing to have a lot of patience and a lot of trust in the things that you're not tangibly seeing in the 3D. A lot of chemistry here. Yeah, let's go ahead and take these. And worth waiting for all right yeah and again with the attraction right so what I'm getting with this attraction and healing family issues and very soon here at the bottom of the deck I feel like that's that's the energy right everything that you have been um, healing from here when it comes to your childhood woundings and your forgiveness work your heart healing work codependency and abandonment wounds um, neglect wounds that's you know what's helping to shift your vibration and shift your consciousness and shift your energy here into this um all of this forgiveness all this inner child and childhood wounds right 
So we have chemistry. Trust that the chemistry you share with somebody that's otherworldly. We have the fire and the water. Again, that could be, again, your your you could have that in your chart. Strong fire. This person may have strong water or vice versa. But this is uh, the twin flame colors, right? Um, <clears throat> it's the perfect blend, the perfect alchemy. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I'm sorry. I got to get this real quick. Okay, yes, hi, I'm back. So, yes. So this the uh, so basically Cupid Cupid struck somebody and this person is your person. Okay, you guys will uh, be coming back together here with this beautiful chemistry card. There's a magnetic pull here, okay? And again with this trust and it is worth the worth the wait here. Both of you guys had to uh, take the time that you needed in separation to heal, right? The um, childhood wounds here, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And it feels like with this attraction card, uh, together with this uh, healing the family issues, that you guys are ready. You guys are ready. Uh, the situation has called for you to have a lot of faith. It's been a long time coming. And uh, let's clarify a couple of these. Okay, spirit, tell me here, clarify true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Clarify true love. Last shuffle, family. Oh, look at the water and the fire here. So, okay, so there is a blending and a merging within this person as well. They may have both of these placements in their chart, or this is what's being activated, the perfect blend, that alchemy that's taking place within this person, right? Um, they had to connect with their spiritual self, with their soul first, you know, with their intuition, right? Which is leading them to this action that they're being guided to take. Their, their fire has been ignited. Their heart has been activated. Okay, with the King of Cups as well as the King of Wands. The King of Wands has a lot of desire. Tell me about this true love. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I can't make this stuff up. Look at this. It's like this. It's like it feels like it feels like you have this inner this knowing, this inner knowing and this certainty which because okay. So because you have healed and cleared have been healing and clearing up any kind of blockages in your heart area and opening up your heart like we've been talking a lot about recently right doing the actual heart work um you're more clear you're more certain you're more uh connected with your intuition your inner knowing about this love this connection right so it's like there is this unspoken agreement this unspoken promise uh with this high inner knowing this high priestess energy the telepathy is becoming stronger as well so the inner knowing is so strong and it is absolutely this energy you attract romantic love true love by enjoying your life fully you had to get to this space it takes a long time to get to the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles you have to get to this energy energy doesn't lie people pretend in this energy all the time and that's why they're still uh unable to attract in a healthy connection for themselves but this is not somebody that's pretending um this is you actually feeling completely taking good care of yourself preparing making room feeling really content and happy in your energy and enjoying your life Okay, look at that. <laughs> the 1111 card. Okay, the twin flame card here. Um, coming into union, feeling very stable within yourself, feeling very stable in, in, within your own frame here. And look, somebody's also going through their ascension and awakening and seeing things clearly, preparing for the next step. Tell me more, one more for this true love, please. Oh! <laughs> exactly family look at that i can't make this stuff up okay so much attraction here so much attraction so much love somebody sees you 
they see you okay and they're very uh, there's a lot of desire there's a strong magnetic pull there's a lot of chemistry so again it's like you want you get it you get it you understand exactly that gripping attaching holding on you know um not letting go being in this when you're missing yearning longing you know feeling like there's something missing and feeling five of pentacles energy five of cups energy what happens is you're telling the universe you're sending a huge signal to the universe that uh you don't have something that you want and the universe is going to match that energy and continue to give you more of that okay so it's important that you feel um that you up uh, in this energy of appreciation and gratitude and happiness within your own life first right on your own feeling complete and whole and fulfilled you need for nothing outside of you and uh and that's when you when you leave when you're not looking and when you least expect it. that's actually how i initially first met uh somebody that's special to me is uh and that, I was in that energy. I was in that energy of not looking. I had just finished coming out of something not too long before that. And uh, I remember, <clears throat> I, to, I could tell you guys the story of how we met. Um, but maybe I could save that for another day. But um, it was so magical and so synchronistic and so um, meant to be. You know, it was a, a simple a simple change in direction that day for me i was gonna go somewhere else and my intuition guided me to 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 change the location to change the place that i was gonna go to and last minute i changed my mind and i went in, to a different place instead and that happened to be where he worked and uh and that's how we met and it was exactly um how spirit says it was love at first sight and um just long story short i uh left without talking to him again and i look over to my left and i see him walking uh, from out, out of one building and going towards the next building and i said it out loud i said it out loud i said well that was that if it's meant to be i'll run into him again one day right and uh I said, oh, well, well, that was that. If it's meant to be, it will happen. I will run into him again one day. I said it out loud and I just kept going and I left. Family, could you not the next day, um, like by close to maybe like around 5 p.m. the next day, my phone goes off and I and I, there's a text message. I don't know who it was because I didn't recognize the number. And then my, I get the phone call and, uh, and it was actually him. So he... Um, looked up my information because i went to his job and to have a service done and then he looked up my information online and um and then reached out to me and it was uh quite magical quite um quite romantic so um <laughs> and that was the universe saying this is this is you know meant for you right because i said if it's meant to be it will be and uh and that that's just a short version of how the whole thing unfolded but um yeah and that's exactly i was in this energy of just living my life not really looking not really searching not you know just content in my life you know you think if you think back of all the times that you you met somebody it wasn't when you were it was when you least expected it right so and here they come with this knight of cups energy and uh you know pursuing you here with a romantic gesture i feel like this person's been activated their heart and their their solar plexus their sacral their heart it's like they oh that wanted to be behind there's a, a new cycle starting C clarify express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture that's this they're coming to they're coming to make a romantic gesture and express their love to you okay clarify express your love yeah here they're they're actually um gonna be what i heard spirits say there's the emperor so somebody definitely matured here's some okay or it, it takes a while to get to emperor energy they're getting ready to take action towards you but um oh wow the lovers 
<laughs> Coming to give. Look, I can't make this stuff up. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Both of you guys are magnetically drawing each other in. Let me know in the comments below if you guys come into union. This has been, that's why this trust card is here, is here because this has been long in the, in the making, long, you know, it's been a process. It's been slow and steady here, okay? Maybe because this person had a lot of responsibilities or they needed to mature, <clears throat> and grow and ascend i'm also getting look they're coming to give okay to balance things out reciprocal energy i'm also getting <clears throat> sorry as you've been on this long journey this journey may be long and challenging but as long as you're together you never walk alone this person is dedicated this person has been on their way to you for a long time that's why you've been asked by the universe to really believe right to really have a lot of faith in this situation, right? Again, it's been a long time coming, worth the wait. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. So here they come, taking charge, taking control, taking initiative. The Knight of Pentacles, right, is an energy here of somebody that has a goal, has a plan, is dedicated. Yes, it's slow moving because I feel like this person... But it's consistent. They're loyal. Okay. Um, I feel like, you know, with this, uh, with this, the, the, the passion and the desire is clearly still there. With this, express your romance, your, your, your love, and clarify by the Knight of Pentacles. I'm getting this person is going to be consistent. The Knight of Pentacles is consistent to build. Uh, they are willing to move things slow with you if, if that's what you're required to build the trust, okay? So they are dedicated, they are cautious, they are patient, they are consistent, and this person is going to be patient with you. They're going to put in, be consistent. It's like a moving slowly into this new chapter, into this new beginning, okay? So, all right, <clears throat> they are feeling the magnetic pull. Clarify trust. The situation is calling for you to have trust. Oh my goodness. I Look at this, family. Look at this. The, now we have... So you guys are, are in union already energetically, okay? You guys are matching the frequencies, matching the vibration. This is your divine counterpart. We got the emperor and the empress here, okay? It feels like... Okay, with this trust, it feels like that's been the thing right whether or not you can trust this or not it feels like this the universe is saying it it may be risky for you because of the past of what this person's done but spirit is saying you can trust to take a leap of faith here okay i'm actually going to um where is this true love card See that? True love. You can trust this 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 emperor. You can trust this. I know it feels like a risk for you, but I'm telling you, you're gonna know anyway with your intuition being so strong, whether or not you can't if this person is showing up in new energy, transformed in a different form, right? You're gonna know. It feels like you're both really ready. Uh, you're going to know whether or not you can trust this person because you finally have healed your heart and opened your heart, activated your heart and uh, connecting stronger to your intuition. So your intuition will tell you, okay, if there's any, I don't see any red flags. Your intuition will tell you if there's any red flags and whether or not you can trust this person or not. Okay. But it's looking like it's safe for you to take a leap of faith on this. Okay. I want to tell me about this true love. I want to clarify this some more. I am still going to pull cards for these kings and this emperor. Okay. Clarify. This is the one. You already met the romantic partner. For both of you guys, there is an awakening and a realization that this is the one. Clarify true love. Clarify true love, spirit. Clarify true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Oh my God. Huh. engagement ring engagement ring uh if my crush is watching size five baby 
size five <laughs> i'm just kidding family uh but yeah there is uh here they come with some kind of proposal or romantic offer you're gonna go from i again we have here this not today card is talking about boundaries okay so this person that that you know has been avoiding you or avoiding talking to you or you avoiding talking to them i feel like it is because of these these boundaries right that you have up and it's like if this person isn't going to come properly <laughs> you know and right under this could be the one right this engagement ring is here because you're making healthier choices for yourself at this time right here nine of pentacles uh you know you're making healthier choices in your love life and in your life taking better care of yourself of your skin of your body going to the gym eating better you know um there's a lot of self-care so it's because of that that you have these boundaries for yourself it's like you're not going to settle uh for anything that's wishy-washy that's in and out that isn't gonna you know your worth and your and your value and what you deserve and you have these standards are, that are high because you reciprocate what you require so it's like because you've raised your value and your worth you like and you're comfortable being on your own it's like if this if it's like you want stability you want security you want a relationship commitment and you and you're fine without it if that's not where you're what you're getting it's like you're not well, you know you're not going to waste your time energy because of how much self-love and self-worth work you're doing you're not going to waste your time and energy into anyone that's not willing to invest in you you invest so much into yourself right that you know it's like you're not if somebody's not coming to add to your life to add to your stability your peace your security you know you're not in you, you're you're good on your own right and and that's the energy that's attracting this in here okay with this true love because of these so it's like because of that you're no longer interested in any kind of unstable rocky unhealthy dramatic chaos uh you know confusing <laughs> in and out situation right you're seeking peace and balance you're in this energy of playfulness you know and happiness it's like you you're going to be happy with this person if this person has changed their ways and they're choosing and they're deciding to show up and come in here for you correctly right um honoring you cherishing you appreciating you and giving to you right so that's the energy clarify express your love here with this emperor and knight of cups heartbroken okay they're gonna so this is somebody that that's also why they have taken a while to come this is somebody that have hurt you deeply in the past okay so um you guys again are in separation so this person that's how you know who this person is this person betrayed you and stabbed you in the back okay and you have been healing from heartbreak focusing on self-worth i feel like this person also is coming out of a situation that they got what they gave in the past right uh some closing out some kind of karmic cycle here give me one more for express your love yeah i told you when cupid strikes somebody that's your person so right here this could be the one when cupid strikes somebody that's the that's your person so cupid struck you both yeah now they're they're coming in more stable uh there's they, they have there's growth here okay they learn from this um there's growth so permanence cupid when cupid strike like i said when cupid strikes your person that's your person there's stability this person with the knight of pentacles they're coming in solid as the emperor with bringing in stability and security okay they're going to be more flexible and com more compromising as well okay there's a lot of a lot of endurance here right and, it, and it's reminding me of love is patient love it, love is kind love endures trust and have faith worth the wait uh, have faith that love is coming surprise invitation right or meeting here okay with this person that that this person is bring, is in the energy of abundance you're in the energy of abundance okay which means you're not in lack so by keeping a positive mindset here you will manifest everything that you're that you're desiring okay in your life and the empress is here and the empress does represent abundance so again with the have faith have faith the situation is calling for you to have faith the empress being in the vibration of abundance that's a lot of faith okay the empress is luxury and beauty 
and fertility and growth and a lot of abundance so you know you both have grown so much here and it's like now you're feeling more free more light hearted you're ready for this new beginning you're both ready okay is what i'm getting uh lots of abundance here for the empress uh and you know that's coming into the because maintain this vibration how do we maintain this vibration we use our mantras our affirmations we stay grounded right we um focus on the positive we focus on gratitude the things that we're appreciating the things that the beautiful things of life that we are grateful for that we appreciate i was just completely in my feels um last night when i was with my friends because i'm like i appreciate these group of women so much you know uh, there's just so much love and so much laughter and so much playfulness and so much like very ten of cups energy emotional fulfillment and um and it's a beautiful uh, you know when you feel overwhelmed with gratitude and and that's this energy that's how we maintain this vibration of abundance okay look jumping up and down jumping in, up and down in the air feeling really happy and that's what's attracting in more abundance into your life and abundance also comes from an open heart chakra so that uh, so you've been nurturing yourself reparenting yourself abundance comes also from that right from the self-worth and self-love work you've been doing can i have one more on can i can you please clarify trust separation here at the bottom of the deck that's why you've been called to have a lot of faith okay clarify trust the situation is calling for you to have faith yeah because of the separation that you're in but the new beginning is starting here for you again with the paradise <laughs> happiness the empress represents expansion fertility giving birth to new ideas new creations new projects new enterprise some of you guys may get pregnant okay as well that's going to lead to a lot of happiness um again wow beautiful energy here this is, you're going to jump for joy when this comes in it's going to add to your happiness that you already feel look talking conversing more ascending healing your heart you when you heal your heart you ascend you no longer want to hide you know you no longer it's like you 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 are accepting of your feelings your true feelings there's i'm sure you guys are feeling better know your comments below ascending here because you're healing your heart both of you guys so when we heal we clear away energetic blocks um you know the woundings of the heart and uh, we are sent we make we make a lot of room okay we're also more social here with the talking more clarify spirit please clarify this could be the one you already met the romantic partner you seek so there's already an investment here okay seven of pentacles is a card of divine timing of you get what you so it's like every, what you're waiting for or everything you invested in the past is being returned to you is, is coming to fruition for you okay so um this is a waiting period for us to emotionally detach and move on and forward from the past pains or everything that's just not emotionally serving us or emotionally fulfilling to us okay that's both of you guys that is leaving the past behind so we can start fresh starting fresh starting over clean slate here okay so this could be the one so you already have invested there's already roots here uh, clarify this could be the one so you know exactly who i'm talking about Clarify, this could be the one. You already met the romantic clock. Yeah, see? Divine timing. Needs time, takes time, right? In cycles, time to heal and progress. That's why the wait, okay? I'm also getting here, when it comes to trusting this person, it's gonna take time. Um, for uh, That's why the Knight of Pentacles is here. They're gonna move slowly, you know, when it comes to the trust. I was like, okay, I, I got yes and yesterday spread that I pulled this same kind of spread um that it can this uh this need time takes time and time cycles time to heal came out clarifying um it is safe for you to love so it's like the more this person comes in and 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 waters their their grass right and, and nurtures you nurtures a connection puts time energy and effort consistently um the truck in time in time you will feel more and more safe with this person the trust will be built from the bottom up is what i i feel like they're the trust here we got a love call some somebody's coming 
to call somebody is calling you um interesting because right during this reading i got a call uh come in that's what i i said hold on i'll be right back i gotta take this right um that that's so symbolic that's like such a huge message saying you're going to be just doing whatever living your life and all of a sudden you're going to get a call you know there's a call that's going to come in uh for you you're going to again right <laughs> it's going to surprise you here this person knows that you are the one you know that they are the one so there is no question here when it comes to that right and they're and they're coming in they're feeling better okay when it comes to it's like a huge passion desire huge passionate pull um okay clarify here chemistry there's this, this magnetic pull that you guys feel oh i can't make this stuff up it's all over the place look at this <laughs> clarifying the chemistry card you guys are are completely in alignment okay right now energetically mentally emotionally and spiritually i heard I, I keep seeing this ecstasy card both of you guys um activates each other there is you satisfy each other on all levels mind body soul and spirit physically as well you know and um there is this both of you guys are feeling the passion ignite both of you guys are feeling the pull it's very strong and you're feeling it even more now that your heart is healed and cleared. You, the, te the telepathy is really strong. Okay, clarify this chemistry. Heart with the key. <laughs> heart with the key. Welcoming love. The one. Open your heart. Getting together and perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, they. the runner. Look at this passion. Ig passion's ignited. See the lightning here passion has ignited this 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 reading is is writing itself see the runner is running back to work on it to rebuild okay this he, this person is going to be persistent with you so heart with the key there's only one person with the key to your heart there's a lot of energy here that you share with this person as you can see this masculine is a high priest this masculine i don't know i heard druid um could be a shaman a high priest you know all i, I was i posted on instagram saying something like marry somebody who you don't need words for them to hear what you have to say i said well marry a high priest high priestess a seer and an oracle personally that's what i intend to do right i definitely don't i need somebody that's gonna you know align connect with me fre frequency level vibrationally right that somebody that's uh, you know that their third eye is open so is their heart and all on all the chakras for that matter that's what i said <laughs> so it's like i'm perfectly fine fine here on my own until the divine right <laughs> aligns me with 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 somebody here that matches my frequencies that is again the emperor empress king and queen of wands what an incredible reading that has the key to my heart that i have the key to their heart you know that's what it's looking like a manifestation you're extremely attractive radiant and magnetic very powerful sorceress sorcerer manifesting here uh <laughs> manifesting really strongly with your certainty your confidence right that you know exactly it's like you're preparing it's like i already know i'm confident that i'm going to come into union i'm confident that we're going to start building our lives together i'm confident that we both uh matured and grown and learned i'm confident that you know my this could be the one my true love is coming into my life matching my frequency matching my energy i'm confident that you know we will be happy right these positive thoughts these certainty you know, speaking what you want into your reality, into your existence, thinking, feeling, speaking, v imagining and, and, and visualizing your vision when it comes to the healthy, healthy choices, healthy partnership, healthy love, he healthy connection that you're calling in. That's not going to be anything like the past because you spent so much work, so much time healing these wounds the ancestral patterns these ancestral stuff your parental stuff the cycles the programmings the patterns that was being repeated and passed down like you spent so much time healing that so it's like you're not attracting in the same person in different bodies anymore that's going to 
you know, confirm and reassure you of your abandonment, that you're not worthy, not deserving of your abandonment wounds, of your, you know, that's going to trigger your codependency, that's going to bring out the worst in you, that's going to, you know, make you feel like you're not worthy or deserving, right? Of, of abundance and healthy love and happiness and paradise and stability and security and a love that defies explanation that is sent by, by the angels, by God. When Cupid strikes somebody for you, it's pointless trying to find somebody else. That is your person. I can't emphasize that enough. So that's why this, this could be the one card is here. You already met the romantic partner. Cupid already hit somebody for you in the heart. <laughs> that's the angel of love, right? This, this is your person. So, um, and again, it feels like, again, you overcome so much here when it comes to this love because this chemistry heart with the key came out right underneath stabbed in the heart right there was just a lot that a whole journey there was a lot that both of you guys experienced and went through and had to learn on this connect in this in, on this journey this is the romance of a lifetime clarify worth waiting for here queen of cups the reason for it okay right here with judgment at the bottom of the deck the reason for it is because the weight is because this forgiveness needed to to take place the releasing of the judgment right the healing the heart the healing the, the emotions the balancing the emotions the um becoming also an empowered empath uh the queen of to open yourself up to love Open your heart to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. The reason why is because we needed to eva do, do a self-evaluating, a gentle evaluation of the past so we can release it and free it with forgiveness. So we can be ready in our heart space emotionally for a second chance. Okay? So this is a resurrection, right? A second chance. Somebody returning uh, with more clarity. This is an energy of a rebirth as well as an awakening, uh, uh, a wake-up call, uh, a, break, a, a breakthrough as well. But mostly it's forgiveness. So forgiveness, that's why. That's why the delay. And, and look, now we're coming in. A lot of healing, a lot of awakening, heart healing, okay, renewal, rejuvenation, spirituality here. A lot of happiness coming in. You had to, this had to be an inside job first, right? And now there's going to be a reunion, a reconciliation where we're going to join forces. Your solo's journey is coming to an end. Okay, we have the three of pentacles, which is um, a card of working together and compromising and building and rebuilding, right? Coming together, a uh, reunion here, something to celebrate. So here it is. Clarify here for me worth waiting for with the Queen of Cups and Judgment. Yeah, somebody had to come out of a karmic... Si yeah, look at this. So that, that's what needed to end. Somebody in the past... That's what we're needing to forgive here, okay? With the Judgment card. Somebody made a, a, a poor judgment call or poor decision in the past that wasn't the best decision for them. It was an impulsive snap judgment, okay? It was an impulsive decision that led to somebody... Um, somebody didn't appreciate you. They took you for granted. They took you advantage of you. They used your, your, your empathic ability, your compassion, your love, um, to hurt you or against you or to manipulate you. Okay. This person had treated you as an option, had many, many keys here, many keys, right? Meanwhile, there's only one key for you and this person. It's like, it's like you were in this person's heart the entire time, but this person played, played, played with the energy. They ran off to a karmic situation, which by the way, has come to an end, right? But this person, the reason for the wait is this person here was dealing with a snake. At first you, they were the snake in your, in your grass. Cause this person was shady and disrespectful. And, um, and this person knew exactly what they were doing behind your back and they were lying and cheating again. They matured. They learned from that because they got what they put out, right? So that's normally how that karma works. So this person has been dealing with, uh, somebody here that's, that's super toxic. 
a, a chaser chasing them. Somebody had abandonment wound. Somebody has abandonment wound. So this person attracted in somebody that had their same energy, the same frequency. If this person was extremely immature and childish, uh, when it when it comes to you, they might have attracted somebody that's like a lot younger than them or somebody that was extremely immature as well, you know, and um, so that's why this judgment is here. That's why the worth the weight is because this person was been freeing themselves from this from this situation, which we've been picking up on and you had needed to work on forgiving. That's being stabbed in the back here by this person, the betrayal. This person may have just ran off and abandoned you for somebody else. Like you were nothing. Discarded of you. Like you meant nothing. Like you have zero value in this person's life, right? Um, but again, it wasn't you, okay? It wasn't you. This person had a, a lot of inner child uh, traumas and woundings. And uh, they were selfish. And they were greedy and manipulative and shady and sneaky and sly. And, um, and these are the things that, it, you know, has come up for you. Um, you, you had to master the self-love, okay? And know that this person's actions, um, doesn't have anything to do with your value and your worth, okay? You didn't do anything wrong. You were assigned by Cupid. Uh, and, and, and God source the universe to love this person. And that's what you did. And you did nothing wrong. If you love this person unconditionally and deeply while they were treating you hor horribly um, behind your back and to your face, this person may have humiliated you in front of their friends. They may have thrown you out of their house a bunch of times for no reason, right? Um, because they didn't have control over their emotions, you know, because um, they got their feelings hurt over something you did or said. Because uh, they're super sensitive and reacted on that. This person um, was probably all over the place in their energy because they had a lot of negative energy around them. A lot of toxic, jealous friends. Okay. Um, they didn't have the right like support system or, uh, you know, people that. Anyway, that's in the past family. That's what this judgment card is saying that that's in the past. Can you please clarify here um, one more time the worth waiting for? Yeah, this person didn't feel good enough, right? Both of you guys, the, this person abandoning you triggered all of your, that made you question yourself, right? Your worth, your value, your, it took a hit on your self-esteem, took a hit on your confidence. Okay, I got to open the door. My friend is here. So it took a hit on, 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 on how you saw yourself, how you loved yourself. We have frustrating relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues. So this person had a lot of ego, had a lot of fear. That's why worth the wait, right? And that's what we're ascending from. So yeah, you're, you're so, there's, there's a huge trauma here. Uh, the abandonment trauma, the trauma of them choosing somebody else over you that you had to overcome and heal as well. So and and that's what you've been doing right in this you get a second chance you you have been healing yourself healing your emotions there's a lot of trauma that you experienced in this in this relationship when you were together it wasn't the right time it wasn't the right time when people don't feel like they are enough or they have enough they tend to sabotage relationships okay so but there's an ascending ascension transformation here because love love heals and transforms all things okay so, um, love heals and transforms all. I'm going to clarify this King of Wands real quick here. King of Wands. Clarify the King of Wands. You already know all of this that we talked about here. There was a lot of triggers at this person, a lot of things that was reflected to you, mirrored to you about your own woundings, abandonment wounds and codependencies. Okay. Uh, you, it, it, when somebody leaves a person for another person or they abandon somebody, it, it, it really does trigger a lot. Okay. Of inner child, of childhood stuff. Okay. It triggers a lot of, um, it's a huge trauma. It's like, 
I can't even, <laughs> your confidence takes a hit, your self-esteem, your self-worth. You, you ask, you know, why could somebody, how, how or why could somebody do this to me, you know? And uh, it feels like this person did, did to you something that they've experienced in the past, you know, and um, that created a, a huge wounding for them. Okay, it's like, yeah, look, self-worth, this is, this is, when it comes to this journey, it's all about uh, aligning with unconditional love and self-worth, which I feel that's the energy here. That's why the weight, because both of you guys had to learn your karmic lessons from karmic relationships, but also I, right here, right, ascend into your worth. Okay, ascend into your worth. Hold on, let me let my friend know to come up. Oh, she's here. Hi. Hello, my love. I'm finishing up the reading for tomorrow. You want to come say hi to everybody? Sure. You can put your, you can. You might have to put your face. This is Star Goddess Healing Family, 1111. Star Goddess Healing Tarot, 1111. You guys uh, follow her. Some of you guys do. She has her own channel. All right. You have to, might have to put your face on the camera. Oh, God. Say hi to everybody. Good Lord. Hi everyone. There she is. <laughs> uh, I hope everyone's having a great day. Is it? Is this for Monday? This is for Monday, but today happy, is Sunday. Happy Monday. <laughs> <laughs> there. I'm. I'm almost done, and then cool. I'll change. Yeah. All right, family. So, um, I'm gonna wrap this. Oh, you smell good. I want to wrap this up, uh, family. Um, I love you guys. Let me just go ahead and pull real quick a last message. Here from uh, the spirit, the spirit oracle, the spirit guides. Cause I gotta hop into my bikini and get outside. Yeah, but <laughs> look at that! I can't make this stuff up. Karma. So here we go, family. So there was a lot of karma that was built and created here in this connection. Okay. Again, then that it, now is the time for us to heal and clear up this karma. Someone from the past reemerges into your life. This gives you the opportunity to handle things differently than you did before. Stand firmly in your power, right? Again, this is what we've been working on. This is what we have been healing is our, uh, you know, uh, becoming an empowered empath, right? You can set your boundaries with love. You can speak your truth clearly with kindness and with love, okay? And um, still give people unconditional love, but be strong in your boundaries, Yet stand in the light of love. Stand strong in your power, yet also stand in the light of love. You're no longer going to be anyone's doormat. Accepting less than what you deserve. The universe is presenting you with a fresh opportunity to clear away any lingering karma linked to this relationship. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, let me know how you guys like this spread. The way we did it today. I like it a lot. Um, a lot of information came through here. <laughs> a lot of clarity, you know. But again, you, you has been, that's why the worth the waiting, worth the wait is here. Uh, divine time is a working your love life because th these are the things that we needed to work on. These are the things that we needed to heal, right? Close out some, learn the karmic lessons, you know, heal the, 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 that deep wound, that deep trauma of not feeling good enough, not feeling worthy that this connection actually contributed to. And it took you a long time to heal that. But now you're both ready and you're both in this beautiful space here, okay, of allowing and accepting and receiving the love that you do truly deserve. I'm going to leave it right here. I love you all. God bless you and namaste. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Much love until next time.